And I tore down the shade structure that spent three and a half years covering this trailer. Don't need it anymore because I'm not living in the trailer. So I decided to turn all of that into this. I don't even know if I can get it in the frame. I got this, the dimensions for this antenna. It's a, it's designed to be a 10, me 10 meter um, Yagi. And it has some special design parameters. <clears throat> um, first thing you'll notice is <clears throat> there's a driven element. I just laid it out to rough it out. So I've got to put an insulator between these two pieces so I can drive them from the coax. So I found some plastic, maybe that'll work. Who knows what I'll use. And in front of it is a parasitic element that actually becomes, um, it, shit, I, I, I'm tired. It, j it becomes lit up. And um, what happens is these two together make the bandwidth of this antenna, at least the guys in the video that made one, their, their bandwidth was stupid wide. It was, uh, 27 point something megahertz all the way to 28 or 29 <clears throat> made it really wide now I don't need that but yay if I get it a couple things I like this boom is only eight feet long this one's actually like eight and a half or something but um, I made it out of junk I had sitting around now I had to take down the shade structure to get these uh, one inch EMT uh, pipes off but uh, the shade structure had all kinds of cool pieces this this coupler <clears throat> there's a different type of coupler a t-shaped one that might even mount better to the uh, unistrut <clears throat> but anyway uh, the other cool thing <clears throat> about using these is a guy named John in Oakland builds shade structures by the hundreds for all the people that go to Burning Man, and this was his design. You take and weld a 3 8 coarse nut to the tubing. Um, there's a hole drilled in the tubing, weld the nut on, and then you can run the screw in and clamp it against a piece of rebar pounded in the ground. <clears throat> and I had I'd done that here at the house, and it's been up for three and a half years. So um, only one bolt broke off today. It's not on any of these. I, it's sitting over there still. Uh, basically installed so anyway I uh, held up really well uh, burning man worst case is 18 days in a row this is three and a half years in a row so here we go I think what I'll do is the first thing I'm gonna do is take the oh okay wait wait sorry I told you I was tired um, what I'm gonna use these for in this case is these are eight foot pieces this is eight foot long, that's eight foot long. That's not even quite the full distance. I think we're gonna be around, I don't know, 17 feet and something. So I can put a piece of, you know, like half inch EMT inside of here and clamp it with that. And that way it's, I can slide it in and out and adjust it. So it's tunable, woohoo. In fact, every element on this thing is tunable. So um, that's, that's gonna be really helpful, especially on the, the primary driven element here, I can tune it. I'm going to go for 11 meters and I can tune it to that and then dink around with the rest of it and see how we do. I'll put the link in the video, in my video, for where I got this from. You can see um, all the information they have on it. But the distance here on theirs, I think they use half inch aluminum. The distance between them is 190 millimeters. So whatever that is, it's not quite four inches or something. <clears throat> um, and it has to be held. I'll have to put some kind of insulator across here to hold them in position because I said the impedance changes massively if these flex while this thing's, you know, installed, if you will. Uh, you know, what am I going to install this thing with? It's all steel. It's going to weigh too damn much. It's going to, it's just going to be massive. So I think what I'm going to mount it on top of <laughs> is my trash can. If I have two trash cans and I sit it on top, boom, I'm good. There's hardly hardly any metal in it, so maybe it'll work. I mean, you know, one of the prerequisites for this project is if it's not fast, quick, easy, and cheap, I don't do it. I just don't do it. So 
here we are. I laid this all out today. It took a long time to pull all these down, but um, they're galvanized tubes. The guy in Oakland made his from really cheap tubing from China, which for uh, survivability in high winds, a Burning Man, is what you want. You want flexible. But a couple of these I got from Home Depot, their EMT, oh God, they're twice as heavy and twice as thick. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, this is what I literally had laying around. And uh, you know, we'll try for 11 meters. Um, the bandwidth, if you get it tuned right, is super wide. So I can probably do 10 and 11 meters pretty easily. Um, what I plan on doing to bolt these down, some guys use plates ugh, that you bolt a plate to here and bolt this to the other plate. Do you see what's really easy? I'm going to, because remember, cheap, simple, and fast, I'm going to take a U-bolt and run it up and across like that. Now, is that going to keep it from pivoting in the wind? It doesn't matter. I'm not putting this thing up on a, on a mast. It's not going anywhere. It's going to be like two feet above the ground, which is not ideal by a mile, but I don't care. I'm just trying to make something that works a little bit. It would be fun if I could reach Las Vegas from where I live, about 65 miles away. But anyway, <clears throat> I can clamp it down. This one down that way, that one too. I found another one of those and I could, you know, put it here so I can clamp this, um, you know, pretty easily. In fact, you know, why not just wrap some, I have some stainless wire, I could wrap some stainless wire on there. You know, this isn't for anything long term, it's just a test to see if I can make it work. <clears throat> um, with my luck, it will work. I want to leave it installed and running and things like that, but, you know, we're not there yet. It's, there's way too much to do before this happens. Um, one thing I can show you is they don't sit around and give you the dimensions uh, easily. You got to watch the video and it's an old low res video. So I got all the dimensions off of there onto here. The only dimension that I wasn't sure of was this one up here with the question mark next to it. Um, fortunately all this is adjustable so it's not the end of the world. But uh, it sounds like it's an Aussie, given the, uh, given the, the video, um, he's narrating it, and um, all their numbers are with a thing 12 meters up in the air, so it's really high up. So anyway, some of it's going to be different, you know, maybe it's a big failure, but then I unbolt it and put it in the scrap pile again, it's not the end of the world. Um, I did order a, a dipole off of eBay, I'm going to string that up. And uh, I've been hunting for pipe to fit up inside my star duster. That's the hub off the star duster. So we'll see. The star duster needs some parts. I still need to make a couple of insulators for it. But this was actually, well, it was probably more work, but now it's almost done. You know, I just need to get some U bolts. I'm going to town tomorrow and I'll get some. And, uh, you know, sit this thing, like I said, up on the trash cans and see if it, uh, if it flies. Anyway, that's it for now. Happy New Year. See you. Bye.